when I heard the story of LifeWise, I was just blown away. And the impact that I saw in LifeWise, you heard the stories from the people about how it was good for their children, it was good for the schools, and really building a better, kinder, character-filled community. I just saw people of all walks of life, you know, just say, yes, this has to happen. We'll turn over our time and treasure to it. And so we've been touring the state, county by county, telling the story of LifeWise. It's a practice of students being released from public school during school hours to receive religious instruction, provided the program is off school property, privately funded, and students have parental permission. I can't overstate the importance of that phrase during school hours. In 1952, the Supreme Court ruled that this is constitutional. Now more than half the states in the nation have laws on the books specifically about release time. And so this practice has been out there for 70 years. However, almost no one has, has heard about it. We really believe it's the single greatest missed opportunity of the American church to reach the next generation. Immediately we put onto paper what LifeWise was going to be all about. Number one, being unapologetically gospel-centered. And number two, we are going to have a character focus because we know that schools spend time and money and energy on character education. And we know the gospel transforms character. And so we want to say, hey, we think we have the best character education program in the country because it's character transformation. You know, you'd think if a community can support a McDonald's and a library and a YMCA and all these churches, you would think every community in this country would have a program like this to teach their public school students the Bible. It's so, it's legal and it's so impactful. We launched in a couple of schools, our phone started ringing off the hook and last year we served an additional 28 schools. It continues to snowball. We, we redrew our goals. We said, well, maybe we should serve Maybe we can serve a thousand schools in the next five years. So we worked out the numbers and we said, okay, to do that, we need to serve 84 next year. But sure enough, uh, we have confirmation to serve. In fact, now this slide is out of date. I know, because it's at, been going. Like as this. of yesterday, we are confirmed in actually 120 schools to be live this coming school year, amen. When I do something publicly, people make it seem like it's political. This isn't political. This is, this is about kids in the community. I am here as, a, as Lieutenant Governor, sure. And the Governor's Office of Faith-Based Initiatives is behind this. But it's not about me. Uh, it's about the responsibility we have as Christians and as citizens to educate our children and to share the message of Jesus. That's why I'm here.